to you stateside. All right, Coach, when you're ready for an opening statement. Sure. Uh, you know, I'm, I just really challenge the team to bring urgency to getting better. And every possession, were they taking it seriously to use? We, we can't waste any opportunities. We're, we're getting ready to go into Pac-12 play uh, all the way through, opening up on the road in hostile environments, and we can't waste any possessions to improve. And I really do think, with a couple of exceptions, they took that to heart. It was our highest passion play total of the year. Um, we had, you know, we met, it's the first time all year, I think we've had all four quarters where we kept the other team out of the bonus. So big emphasis for us has been defending without fouling. And, uh, you know, we, we had, um, we, I think we met most of our rebounding goals. So, but for me, it was more about the mentality. Like, are you willing to compete with yourself? Uh, to make sure that you're improving, that you're getting better at executing a game plan, if you're getting better with uh, pressure defense, whatever the case might be. So uh, I was pleased with our focus tonight, and I, I thought we made a step forward. Um, this is for uh, anybody. Can you talk about defensively? You're talking about you know defending without fouling, but also... A a season high, uh, 14 steals, um, and that which obviously led to a lot of transition buckets. Um, you know, what can you say about your defense tonight? Go ahead, London. Um, I think we do a really great job in practice, just competing every single day, um, and it only helps for the goals that we're trying to accomplish this year. So, just having that mindset and knowing what we need to do and getting it done. Yeah, just to go off of that, I think um, we talk a lot about habits, and um, it's not always about who we play but like who we want to become um and like today was a great game for building those habits um getting that ball pressure there and like our passion plays reflect that um so i think we took a good step in creating those habits and i just want to really call out london i mean i think her willingness to pick up full court all the time i think that sets the tone for some of those steals sometimes she's not the one that's going to get the steal but she's going to force the discomfort so the pass that her player makes leads to the steal. And, you know, I think being a freshman uh, is one of the first quarter of the freshman year is like one of the very hardest. I always tell them all of you are going to want to quit a dozen times and transfer a dozen times in the first, you know, uh, part of the year. And I, I just really want to commend uh, London for just continuing to have a focus of being a great teammate and trusting the process and getting better. And I think she does a lot of things that, um, that are really selfless out there that make our team better. Um, I noticed that, you know, everyone scored tonight. And uh, is that something that you guys came out trying to do or did it just kind of organically occur with the urgency? Yeah, I think it organically occurred. Um, but I think, you know, we were able to just continue. We wanted to keep the intensity up. And so, you know, we just being able to have that depth and to be able to continually pressure um, but I just think it becomes a natural byproduct. But we also passed it better for the most. I mean, we had 21 assists on 29 uh, field goals, I think, and 21 assists, 11 turnovers. So uh, that's, you know, I think that's reflective to that same point. And then, London, I'm sure you're not, you haven't uh, surprised your teammates at all, but, you know, maybe others who didn't know what you could do. But um, how have you been able to find your role on this team to become kind of a, a scoring threat, the scoring threat that you have? And then maybe also Emily could could talk about what she's seen being a little bit of a veteran to this team. Um, yeah, like I said, <clears throat> every day, like it's, it's a team full of encouragers, a team full of people that have each other's backs. And I mean, it doesn't matter who's on for the game. Like if we're all doing it together, that's all that really matters. So it, team effort is all it really takes. Um, but my team does, do, does an amazing job with helping me get that and getting me the good looks and things like that. And it takes a team. So we do a really good job finding each other. Yeah, I agree with what Lennon said. Um, we really do a good job of uh, finding each other's strengths and like putting each other in the best position. And that's what we're aiming to do. So as we play together more, as we train together more, we've been training for a couple of months, but um, we sort of know what people's strengths are and um, where to get them the ball. And that's the goal with our team effort. Uh, just to, for any of you, your thoughts on on having come back after such a, a hard fought uh, win against USC, and this could you know sort of be a, you know what you call a trap game, but obviously that that didn't happen for you guys. What, what can you say about uh, why that was? 
Well, I think it it um, is the power of their um, well, their commitments, right? It, they want to be. We want to be a championship process program, and if that is really true, if it's really true, then this is another opportunity to move closer to those kind of habits. And if it's only empty words, then you let yourself succumb to your feelings and maybe play the the jersey across instead of no. We're you know Emily mentioned it earlier. Um, we're competing to be who we want to be. We're competing every moment all the time of who do we want to become? What are the habits we're going to need and want come March, come, you know, crunch time in the Pac-12 season? And so uh, I just think for me, as I'm watching them, I'm, I'm looking to go, okay, well, how committed are they? Uh, you know, they say they want to have a championship process. They want to have championship character. They want to have those habits that they know they needed. And, and today, uh, earn some trust with me because I thought they really did um, come with a commitment to get that done. And just one more for me for the players. Um, there was a lot of good things to, uh, on this, the stat sheet this evening. What what did you guys like the best about how you played today as as opposed to maybe Thursday? Um, yeah, I think Coach Corey mentioned it earlier. Our um, 21 assists on 29 field goals, that speaks um, a lot to us sharing the ball and wanting to create offense together. Um, I know we've been focusing a lot about hitting the, the hitting the paint and hitting the post people, especially against zone, and I think we've done a really good job about that. Um, so moving the ball, sharing the ball, playing together as a team offensively. Yeah, I think we've been really focused on teamwork plays. Um, we have obviously a lot of great individuals, but like when we played USC, they have really good individuals too. And it, it's not about one-on-one -on -one matchups, not at the highest levels. It's about who can string things together as a team. What are you trying to accomplish? How can someone sacrifice something to make something easier for somebody else? And so that's really been our focus uh, since that time is how, how do we create more teamwork plays? And you know, we're such a defense and rebounding program, and thank goodness for that because that carried us at SC through a really poor offensive game. So, but our really all – we watched every single – as a staff, we watched every single offensive possession, and then we watched the entire first quarter with the team offensively. And uh, we're just trying to learn uh, – we're trying to find that chemistry where you're becoming something offensively as a unit that you couldn't accomplish individually. And we're not there yet, but we took some steps forward. <laughs> yes, it will be a lot of fun. Um, why was it important for you guys to to honor, uh, you know, have a moment of silence for, for Billy yeah. Moore? Well, you know, she's a legend here. And um, I think there has to be great humility for us knowing that we get to be in this incredible place. We have tremendous facilities. We have all of the resources we need to be successful and that came because of people like Billy Moore that blazed that trail. I mean, you know, she's the first Olympic coach for USA basketball. You know, she and now look at our dominance um, in the world scene in USA basketball. That doesn't happen without sacrificial people like Billy Moore. And, you know, I, I remember I have so many memories of growing up and hearing about her and watching her. And then, you know, my first assistant coaching job from 93 to 95 was right after she retired. So like every day was, well, this is how Billy did it and this is what she did. And I love the phrase that Pam has reminded me of all the time that she used that excellence never takes a day off. And, you know, I just I think we're, we talk about habits of excellence all the time. I've talked about it to, tonight in this press conference and just. Um, I think that uh, she's just so re um, she just deserves so much credit. And so it feels like such a small gesture, but one that I thought was important to make. And there was a lot of alumni here today. Mary Haggerty. I'm sure I'm missing some, so I probably shouldn't name them because I didn't get a chance to see everyone. But I got to see Mary Haggerty was here. Um, you know, there's been so many, uh, we posted, um, so we had a neat moment, but Pam is hurting. Pam has been, Pam really, I mean, was very, very close to her and was with her all this last few weeks, Was dri has been driving down to Orange County almost every day. Like, this has been really, really difficult for Pam. Um, but when we did, a, we surprised her yesterday and posted a video of in our locker room after USC and to watch the comments um, that came after that and from alumni, from different people, not only about Billy and her influence, but also Pam's. And I just think that's how, that's called paying it forward. 
Billy invested in Pam and now Pam takes what she learns and invests in us. And that's what Bruin tradition is all about. Mm, it was pretty cool. So, well, and I appreciate you guys being here. I hope you have a happy holidays. I hope to see you guys on Tuesday. Um, but you know, just thank you for being here. It means a lot uh, as usual, but like I'm, as we, as SC is really good. Um, I really made a ploy about this on, on whatever night it was that we played down there, but, um, like we need LA to do better and you guys are always showing up for us. And I say, thank you to you. And we need more and more people telling the stories about Southern California basketball because it is really good. And women's sports are going in an awesome direction. And uh, we need more people like you two that are showing up for us, making sure that these women's stories uh, get out into our communities. All right. Thank, Thank you, guys. guys.